Hello, everybody. We're so happy to be here. Hello, everybody. It is such an honor to be part of the Marion Davies birthday celebration. When we were invited to participate, we were tipped off by the folks at the Marion Davies house about a particular song that they would like us to do called I Love a Piano from a show from 1915 written by Irving Berlin. This song was the big closing number for the first act. And of course, Marion Davies was in this show and we're so excited to perform it for you. Shall we do it now? Let's. As a child, I went wild when the band played. How I ran to the man while his hands swayed. Clarinets were my pets and the slide trombone I thought was simply divine. But nowadays when they play, I could hiss them. Every bar is a jar to my system. But there's one musical instrument that I call mine. I love a piano. I love a piano. I love to hear somebody play on that piano. A grand piano. It simply carries me away. I know a fine way to treat a stein way. I love to run my fingers o'er the keys, the ivories, and with a pedal, I'd love to meddle when Paderewski comes this way. I'd be delighted if I'm invited to hear that long-haired genius play. So you can keep your fiddle and your bow, give me a P I A N O O O. I'd like to stop right beside an upright or a high tone baby grand. That was so much fun, Frederick. Thank you, Miss Janet. That was terrific. Whee! Virtual fun.
I'd love to show uh, a sheet music uh, cover from the song, from the original uh, show. May I? Yes. And here it is. I love Great. the piano. And there you can see the star of the show, Gabby Delis, famous French actress and movie star, highest paid female performer in the world at this time. How about that? 1915. And here's an alternate spicy sheet music cover. That's right. This does not feature Gabby Delis. This lady on the cover, I believe, represents um, the performer who introduced a song in the show called That Hula Hula. The song was actually introduced by a lady named Blossom Seely, and I, I doubt this is meant to be to be Blossom Seely, as she was sort of a Sophie Tucker type. <laughs> but um, <laughs> this cover must have sold a lot of copies of this. Absolutely. Song. And here's a wonderful photograph that comes from the New York Public Library uh, Broadway Theater Collection. And as you can see, fourth from the left, would be Marion Davies with her That's Mary right. Pickford ringlets. This song that uh, she appeared in was a production number called The Girl on the Magazine. And she represented the summer issue of the magazine. And that's why her name is Summer in this show. And she's dressed in her summer dress. Fabulous. What can you tell us about this one? Th these are some uh, wonderful images that Frederick pulled from his archives. Marion Davies uh, at this time, this is from 1919, began uh, a career, well, she started her career um, as a model and performer on Broadway, and she started getting these commissions to do sheet music covers that were not associated with any show or movie, but just because she was one of the most beautiful women in the world. Wow. And also, uh, we were tipped off that this show, Stop, Look, and Listen, was uh, one of uh, Marianne's early performances in the Broadway theater shows. And at about that time, William Randolph Hearst was a stage door Johnny. And uh, so according to Marion Davies' autobiography, what can you tell us a little bit more about, about that? Well, following Stop, Look, and Listen, um, it closed in March of 1916. And then she went into rehearsals for the Ziegfeld Follies of 1916, for which she was hired, probably based on the strength of her wonderful performance in Stop, Look, and Listen. And once she started appearing in the Follies of 1916, William Randolph Hearst started coming to the show and he came almost every night and sat in the first row. And the girls, the chorus girls warned Marion, she said, they said, that man's watching you be careful of him. He's one of those stage door Johnnies. <laughs> That's great. Well, I love seeing these early sheets um, where she is featured. You can just see her come hither yeah. and everything. Now this song, You're a Great Big Lonesome Baby. This is an independent song from 1917. And again, she's just appearing on this um, because she was beautiful. Wow, so she wasn't known for singing this song. No, she wasn't in vaudeville. And this is one of her early movie covers from 1919. Wow. And another. Yeah, this, is, this was one of her biggest roles, um, Mary Tudor in uh, the movie When Knighthood Was in Flower with music by Victor Herbert of all people. And what year was this? This is 1922 or 23. I see, because she's so wonderful in all those uh, silent comedies like the Patsy. But I do remember, I do remember that she's she was quoted that that Hearst really wanted to support her in these serious period pieces that would be you know very fancy and up upscale. But she was so good in these more frivolous, hilarious comedies. Now this one I don't know anything about. This is one of her early costume dramas that Hearst wanted her to make. And of course, she was wonderful in these costume dramas, playing these wonderful characters from history. But it wouldn't be till a little later when he would allow her her wish to play in a comedy that the world saw that she was one of the greatest comedians uh, on this, I guess on stage, but definitely on film. Like this one, show right. people. This, oh. this is my favorite Marianne Davies film. 
She is absolutely spectacular in it. Oh, it's such a goodie. Woo! And here's another a nice promotional shot. That's right, from the 1930s. And then a couple other things also from the 30s. Yeah, this is my favorite Marion Davies talkie, Page Miss Glory. It's one of the funniest movies I've ever seen, and I hope everyone has a chance to see it. They play it on uh, Turner Classic movies quite frequently. Wow, no, I've never, I'm not familiar with that. Here's, the, here's a little press photograph and and ah so such good fun now we all have to run out and see all the movies we haven't seen yet or heard. indeed it's worth it she is one of the most marvelous actresses the uh movies have ever known well it's been a pleasure to be here with you all this afternoon thank you so much Thank you so much for inviting us to be part of the celebration. It's a wonderful honor to celebrate one of our favorite film stars. Whoopee! Great to be here. Thank you.